Welcome to the Tao of Bao, Part 2. In this episode, we will be covering the arrest of James Freeman and Gunner. Let's flash forward to June 1st, the following Tuesday. The following Tuesday, this time, Bao, Ethics Instead, came with James Freeman and Gunner to record again, to attempt to record this public hearing, which was their Crowley Municipal Court. And let me show you a short clip of what happened there. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Mr. Court of Crowley is now in session. Please make sure that no devices and cell phones, recorder, food, or drink are in the courtroom. You can be seated. What's that? All electronic devices are to be left out of the courtroom. Is there a secret going on in here? Oh, I'm, I'm hard of hearing, but I think it's a public hearing, right? Sir, you are in contempt of court. I, I can't hear you. There'll be an officer that will explain. Is this a secret hearing? I yeah, I can't hear. That's fine, sir. Okay. No recording. You could hear fine. No, I... Okay. No recording. Okay. Okay. You know that. I mean... Well, I was told it was a public hearing. It was it's a public hearing. hearing. You can okay. come sit there all day long. Oh, okay. You just can't record in there. It's the court rules. Okay. Okay. And she's asked y'all to take it to the thing. I, there's signs that you can't hear. At least you can see right there. Oh, I didn't read that. Right? I mean, there's signs everywhere. Look at all oh, that. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm not going to read all that. Yes, you know sir, what I, mean? I understand. I understand. It's not even really reasonable to think I would read all this stuff over here. Okay. Can I ask you? Okay. She's here for um, tickets for court. Is this where? Yes, ma'am. Just sign in with her. Um, okay. 358B, 1095. So can I record out here then? Mm, sir, you already found a contempt of court. Can you put your, put your camera down, please? Why is that? She found you a contempt of court. How? Under, under what authority? Can she hold him under contempt? Under what court's authority? I'm not talking to you, sir. I couldn't hear anything from the man. Under what court's authority can she hold him under contempt? There's no injured party here. How can this be a court and there's not an injured party here? I need a unit this time. Wallet. Need a wallet? Huh? Need a wallet? I wasn't trying to break any rules. I yeah. Alright guys, we're at Crowley Courthouse. They just threatened they just threatened James. They just threatened James, guys. They better not put him in cuffs. They better not put him in cuffs. Alright guys, call up here. They just arrested James. You don't have anything on here that you know about the Now, it should be pointed out that the rules against electronic devices in the courtroom did not exist one week before on April 24th. As a matter of fact, you can see here how they created the rules and instituted them on April 25th, the day after the court hearing in which Bao and Ethics instead got kicked out of the courtroom. 
So they basically made up these rules specifically to stop them because, well, obviously they weren't going to have an election every week on Tuesdays. So they weren't going to be able to continue to use that rule or that law to keep people from filming. So they had to come up with something else. So they came up with this rule. Now, it's real interesting to notice, too, at the bottom of the of the rules that it states how a bunch of these rules, in fact, the vast majority of these rules, don't even apply in this court uh, of the Crowley Municipal Court. So really, the only rules that existed were the rules of decorum, all the other rules of the, that they had made up, and there was seven pages of them, didn't even apply to this courtroom or this uh, court hearings at all. Now, at this court hearing, both James Freeman and Gunner were arrested and put in jail for contempt of court. Now, earlier you saw the detective, Josh White, whom obviously Darla Peavy knows very well. She even referred to him as Josh. Josh, could you take these people out of the courtroom? Hmm, must know Detective White pretty well to call him Josh. Let's see what happened between her and Josh. Well, it looks like Darla Peavy got a bunch of phone calls at her office for her private practice. Some of those were answered by her secretaries and other ones went to voicemail. Darla Peavy was not happy that people were seeking a redress from her as a judge and part of the government for their grievances. So she complained to Josh, Detective White, and wanted something done about it. At the end of the day, I've got to enforce what yes, the law says. And it's not that the judge is telling me to, and it's not that the judge is telling me to, and it's not that the judge is telling me to. Well, it's not like all of you are out solving cold case files of, of only violent crimes of victims. Actually, that's kind of what I do, and that's kind of what our division well, does. Well, In part three of the Dow of Bow, we're going to start looking at the actual affidavit that Detective Josh White made. 